Yes, all right. Septictank.co.uk. Yes, that's right. We're live um, across the world tonight. So I'm live on YouTube. We're live on Twitter. We're live on Facebook. And do you know what? The strange thing is, right? The strange thing is many people keep saying to me, no, you're not live. It's not true. Well, look at this. Let me show you this, right? Let me go in here. Well, this is where we're at today, right? I'm on YouTube live right now. Look, live now, live. We're live. So we're live on Twitter. And look, I'm just showing you this because people say, no, you're not live on Twitter. It's not true. It's messing around. You're teasing us or whatever, right? Let me just go to Twitter. Here's my Twitter page live. Can you see that? Can you see that? So I just thought for anyone that doubts, right, whether I'm live, right, we're live right now on Twitter. We're live on Facebook and we're live on YouTube. All right. So I just wanted to put paid to the rumors not that i'm fussed whatever but we really are live so <clears throat> the point is um if you've got any questions you've got any queries you want me to answer you then this is the forum this is the place to do it all right so listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch this broadcast today now many people all right we talk a lot about septic tanks but many people ask me why is a septic tank you know, what are the different types of septic tanks out there? Well, I thought I'd take the time. We're not going to be long today. I thought I'd just take the time to show you the different types of septic tanks on the market. All right. So here we go. Let's have a look at this now. OK, so. -da! All right. So here we go. We got our first septic tank now. <clears throat> This is the most common type of septic tank in the world. I would say the world, not just the UK. It's the concrete, the good old concrete septic tank. What's so good about it? Oh, man, alive. They're built like a nuclear bunker. If you've got a concrete tank, you'll never have to replace it. You Kids will never replace it. Your grandkids will never have to replace it. No one will ever have to replace your concrete septic tank because they're just like built. So they're just like you don't need to install them with any concrete because they're made of concrete. They just don't float away. They don't pop out the ground. <clears throat> and, you know, even if there's an earthquake, they still stand the test. So that's been one of the most popular septic tanks in this country for, oh man, since I would say about the 1940s, 1950s. Prior to that, many septic tanks were made of bricks. And so if you're thinking of getting a septic tank, then sure, um, a concrete septic tank should definitely be on your list. But they have been usurped right by modern technology although they're fantastic they are expensive okay they're very expensive compared to an onion type of septic tank now this kind of septic tank became very very popular in the uh 1980s because a company called Clargister came up with the onion type septic tanks and um, <clears throat> good on them they made them out of fiberglass they were making them for 10 a penny and people could put them in a lot quicker than the old uh, concrete tanks the old concrete tanks many people would make themselves out of breeze blocks um, or they'd get a, a, a wagon to deliver the sections of the concrete tanks in stages. They'd put them into home, but and it was expensive. These were a lot cheaper to buy. And although they probably took just as much time to put in, they were just more convenient. You know, they're just a lot more convenient. And the onion-shaped septic tank was really popular, as I said, in the late 80s, um, the early 90s. Or, or even through the 90s. But then again, technology 
reared its beautiful head. And guess what came on the scene then? The low profile bullet septic tanks. Look at that, man. Cool or what? Now, this was even better than the onion shaped septic tanks because they were half the height. They were twice as strong and um, they didn't need any concrete to put in. So these bullet septic tanks are the most popular septic tanks, I would say, in the world now. They really are because they, they're just so convenient. They're bulletproof. And that's why they call it the bullet septic tank. And then last but not least, we've got one of these. Have a look at this. See one of these? This is called the Cube septic tank. Now, this is a non-domestic septic tank, and they're fantastic as well. They come in a cage, and they're just ideal for stable blocks, for um, for mobile homes, for places like that. And uh, so though that is the evolution, if you want to call it that, that is the progressive stages of um, septic tanks. Now, let's see if I can just show you this, right? Let's see if I can show you this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to show you something else. Now, so those are the difference between the four types of septic tanks. Now, what I'm going to show you is the difference between two of the most popular septic tanks um, that are available on the UK market today. And that is the onion uh, shaped septic tank and the low profile septic tank. So let, let me just get this on here. So bear with me a second. What I'm doing now, I'm just getting it on the screen here. All right, here we go. Okay, so da 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 da. All right, and let me just take that off. On that shingle, there we go. Brilliant. Okay, so here we go. So let's get this on for you. Here we go. Here we go. So let me just show you what else is a septic tank. Okay, so what is that? There we go. All right. So then we got your digger. All right, which obviously you can see there. But let me show you. Many people say, what's the best, Jason, an onion septic tank or a low profile bullet septic tank? Well, although I sell both tanks, personally, I do favor one over the other. Which one? Well, let me show you. I'm an independent sewage consultant. Oh, and by the way, oh, and by the way, by the way, people ask me, uh, what's your website, Jason? It's called septictank.co.uk. Septictank.co.uk. That's it. So back on with the show. Here we go. All right. So let's show you the difference between an onion tank and a low profile tank. All right, so let's start with the holes. Now, here's a typical hole for the onion septic tank. Now, if you install septic tanks, you'll be very familiar with that type of hole and you'll be like, yeah, so what are you trying to tell us? This is what I'm trying to tell you. That's the hole for the onion tank. Let me show you the hole for the low profile tank. Now, can you see the difference? So if I come down like that, there you go. That's the difference between the two holes. If I go to ground level there, there we go. One is half the height of the other one. All right. Ah, how cool is that? This software is absolutely amazing. And um, oh, it's just so easy. In it just helps me so much to try and show you what's what. All right, so that you can see straight away. The difference. So, if you're buying an onion tank, the first thing you need to know is that you've got to get a digger that's two to three times bigger than the digger that you'd use for a low profile septic tank. So, you, it's going to cost you another 100 or 200 quid in digger costs and fuel because the hole will take you at least two to three times longer to dig. Not demonizing onion tanks, by the way. I'm just giving you the facts. That's technology moves on for a reason. Okay. So now, now let me show you this. There you go. So that is the onion septic tank. 
go rid of that. There's the onion shaped septic tank. And that's typically what it looks like. All right. And look, I'll, I'll be honest, you know, when they first came out, they looked like something like flipping from a science fiction film or something. They, you know, they're just like, wow, I mean, they're like a light bulb, uh, an upside down light bulb. So let me just take the lid off, right? Uh, give it a bit more context. Can we take the lid off? No, the lid won't come off. Okay. The lid has been very naughty. All right, so we'll leave the lid on. All right, so there you go. So that's what it looks like. So let's give you an overall view, okay? So that's what it's like from an aerial view. Right, now let's show you the bullet-shaped septic tank. Ta -da! So there you go, straight away. All right. You don't, I don't really need to say a lot in about that, do I? A picture paints a thousand words. So if you drew this picture, if you painted this picture, what would this picture tell you? Well, it would tell you two things. It would tell you that the onion tank is twice the height of the bullet-shaped septic tank. It would also tell you that the bullet-shaped septic tank is a lot easier to install than the onion-shaped septic tank. That is a fact. OK, that is why I prefer and I love the bullet shaped septic tanks. Full stop. OK, now. You'd think, OK, you've made your point, Jason, you've made your point, you made your point. But no, I haven't finished. <laughs> right. I've got to show you this. This will blow your mind. Right. Have a look at this installation. To install, let's start with the onion tank to install the onion tank. You have to put concrete around them. If you don't put concrete around the onion-shaped septic tank, then the warranty will be null and void from the, the um, manufacturer. They state in the small print, if unless it's concreted in, the manufacturer's war warranty will be null and void. Full stop. So let me show you some concrete. That is what it looks like. To put in your onion shaped septic tank, you've got to concrete the thing in. The concrete for the onion shaped septic tank, if you're budgeting for an onion shaped septic tank, let it be known that you've got to spend another six, seven, eight hundred quid on the concrete alone. And so, personally, I've put enough of these flaming concrete tanks, uh, these flipping onion shaped tanks in, and it's a pig. <laughs> pig. All right, you even got sound effects with it. All right, so, all right, so let me show you how easy it is to put in the bullet shaped septic tank. Have a look at this. There you go. Let's go in closer here. Can you see what that's got in it? Shingle. Shingle. That's all it takes, okay? Shingle, three quarters the height up to the tank. How cool is that? So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the difference between an onion-shaped septic tank and the low profile. So there you go. So that's been split in half now. Okay. So you can see the concrete. But it's not only that, right? Because the onion-shaped septic tank has to go down so deep, nine times out of ten, you've got to anchor them into the ground let me show you what i mean let me show you what i mean here right anchor there you go you actually have to put straps and a flipping lintel on them have a look at this right here we go so can you see so there's the straps and at the bottom there you've got the lintel now the straps and the lintel actually weight it down because they're fiberglass and they're so light you only have to go and they pop up out the ground now Especially if you're waiting, say you've put all the wet concreting in, all the concrete, wet concrete in, and you've put it in the hole, you've got to wait a day or two for it to set, right? So it, because of the moisture and the water content in the concrete, they can still pop up out of the ground. So you have to, nine times out of ten, put these straps on them, and you have to put a concrete lintel on them, burying them, weighting them, anchoring them down. I mean, I've had to do it. People have to do it. 
and people still buy these tanks. Like, don't get me wrong, I sell them. I'm not demonizing onion tanks, but people buy them because the builders' yards sell them for about 100, 150 quid cheaper than the onion, uh, than the, the, the low profile bullet tank. But what they don't tell you, right, what these companies don't tell you is that you've got to spend 300 quid to get the kit, anchor kit. You've got to flip in, put concrete. Ripping six, seven, eight hundred quid's worth of concrete around the onion tank, right? and then you've, which takes three to four days longer to do, right? And then you've got to flipping wait three days, two to three days for the flipping concrete to set. So, in reality, right, all you've got to do once you've bought your low-profile tank, all you've got to do. Is pay out another 150 quid for the shingle to go around it. All right, that's pretty simple, isn't it? For the concrete tank, once you've bought the tank, right, you've got to flipping go and buy yourself this concrete anchoring system there, right? For it, you've got to put that to it. Then you've got to spend another flaming six, seven, eight hundred quid on concrete. So all right, the onion tank cost you 150 quid less to buy up front, but by the time you finish, it's cost you anywhere from like 12 to 1500 quid more to install. It doesn't make sense to me, but people still buy them, people still do it. I mean, at the end of the day, you can do what you want to do, but I'm just trying to say to you look, technology's moved on. If you want to buy a septic tank that's easy to install, it doesn't cut co that costs three times cheaper to install and to buy all in than an onion septic tank, septic tank. And there you go. There you have it. The bullet shaped septic tank is the one to go for. But the people say, oh, where do I get one from? Well, I'll show you. All you need to do is type in septic tank. Dot co dot UK. And that will take you to my website there. And there you go. Septic tank dot co dot UK. And although I've got lots of stuff on there, um, this is where I'd recommend you to go, septic tank and soak away kit, because you can buy the whole lot in one. All right, so let me click on that for you. All right, so here we go, septic tank and soak away kits. And they're based, right? You can buy these based on the number of bedrooms. So let's say you've got one to two bedrooms, three to four bedrooms, five to six bedrooms. So let's say you've got a one to two bedroom one, right? So just click on there, and there you go. Want to look at that? Who'd have thought? I mean, you could buy a septic tank and soak away kit for so little. Now the septic tank and soak away kits they sell, right? One four nine nine. I mean, it costs you that to install the flipping onion before you bought it, almost. You know. So there's a video there you can watch. So um, it it shows you how to install it. Gives you an overall view of what the septic tank and soak away looks like, and it shows you how to install it. Place the membrane chamber into the. All right, and so here we go. So what are you getting? Well, you're getting the tank. You're getting fifty. You're getting fifteen meters of pipes with the connectors. You're getting an inspection chamber, and you're getting the crate. So there you go. So you're getting the pipe. You're getting the inspection chamber. You're getting the septic tank. You get in the crates and the membrane. And so so if you want a tip, if you want my tip of the day, and you're looking for a septic tank and soak away kit, then just go to septictank.co.uk. You'll find everything you need there. Listen, there's loads of people <coughs> selling septic tanks on the UK market. <clears throat> um, uh, ring all of them up and they'll tell you everyone else's tanks are rubbish and you should buy their tanks. Well, obviously, the choice is uh, up to you at the end of the day, but just ask yourself this, right? Before you go and spend out all that, you know, saving a couple of hundred quid and get yourself an onion tank, just take into consideration the fact that they cost a thousand quid more, oops, a thousand quid more to install than a bullet shaped septic tank all right and that's a fact so you know so that's my tip of the day if you're going to get a tank get a low profile kind of bullet septic tank and if you're looking for 
you know, a complete kit, then here's a good place to start looking. Obviously, you're going to do your research and stuff, but have a look under my, go to septictank.co.uk and have a look under the septic tank and soak away kits there. So listen, thank you very much once again for watching my live broadcast. It's a privilege and an honor to be able to talk to you, to talk to everyone across the globe right now. And um, I'll be back later with another live broadcast. If I'm not, I'll see you tomorrow. So listen, have a great Wednesday and I will speak to you soon.